What's up with you guys? Yo, I haven't done any video like this in a long time, especially a long video. I only do the reviews on Instagram, short video on uh, YouTube, and a TikTok. So today I decided to make a full video of my training. Well, not full. Uh, focusing on the squats. The reason why I've been squatting quite some time is because the country is cold and I'm always tight. And since I was tight, so three weeks ago, I decided to buy a machine gun and uh, foam rolling so that I can focus on my lower body and be able to be back on the squatting. I've been up almost two months since I stopped squatting, but I was able to do deadlift and, and bench press most of the time. So now I'm back into squatting. So let's see how it goes. After three weeks of using machine gun and foam rolling, I actually feel better. So basically just helped me to, to loosen up the places that I'm very tight, my glutes, my hamstrings my hip flexors, my um, IT band, calves. These are the places that I always struggle with if it's cold because it's always super tight. So since I've been doing this for three weeks, almost every day I massage myself. Actually, I've been feeling good and that's why I'll be able to squat today. This is one of, uh, one of the warm-up that I do almost every time. I go for a leg day, it's five minutes on the bike. And uh, it's just to help me to keep blood flowing on my joint. You know what I'm saying? Five minutes here. Doesn't matter how many calories I get, but just go for five minutes on the, on the bike. Twenty-five feels so good, and I'm just happy feeling that when it squats again. So let's keep adding weight, and then uh, after the three fifteen, I'm probably have to wear the knee slips just to make sure that I'm safe. All right, so I saw this trick on a on a on a thing on YouTube. Uh, this is always my my most struggle on squat is to put my knee slips on. So I saw this trick on the YouTube, I'm like, okay, I should try it out. Because this is uh, one of the most trouble that I have on, when I'm doing squats, that I need to put my knee sleeves. So basically the, the trick is, after the, the knee sleeves in your foot, you put your, wrist, uh, your lifting straps inside. Okay, right there. So you put one there, and you grab the other one. You put this side. to be you remove them good <laughs> and this one it's always easy to put on see like how fast just go up
did it, I did it, I did it. Four or five, four hundred and five pounds. That would be one eighty three kilos, something like that. I did it. it has been a really long time to come back from that one for ten reps. I haven't eaten four or five for a really long time. And uh, this is my first time in a really long time, especially since I was like almost two months without squatting. It's because like it's cold, as I said, it's cold to get back into squatting. That's why I've been focusing more on a deadlift because deadlift second. I can, I can do it. Uh, but squatting, to get that full range of motion, take time. So that's why I actually buy the, buy the machine gun and foam roller just so that I can focus on my lower body and be ready and get my muscle ready for, for squat. Because otherwise, without those two tools right there, I wouldn't have been able to do this. Because I kind of feel like my knees wasn't ready. But for the past like three weeks, I've been focusing on my lower body, like kind of get massage, foam rolling, massage, foam rolling. You kind of loosen up the muscle around my knees and I'm kind of ready to actually squat again. And you know what, I'm just gonna keep this I'm not gonna keep doing this massage on my legs to just make sure I'm ready, you know. That's all about. It's all about, I need to be strong, man. I need to be strong. I'm gonna give you a trick that always get me through a high reps or uh, help you with left, left thing, you know. Uh, the way I do it, like let's say this that I just finished was 10 reps, right? So 10 reps in heavy weight, relatively, it's a, it's a pretty high rep. You know, you can always lose the number and you can always be scary. I'm not gonna finish. So the way I do it, it's always count every two reps that's one. So I'll do two reps one, two reps two, two reps three. So which means have five, I have to count up to five and I'm done. So the reason why, because if you say one, two, three, four, five, when I'm in five, it sounds like I'm halfway but it's five because I need, need I still need to do five more reps. But if I count every two reps as one, when I went at three, that's six reps, directly in my mind, I have only four reps to go. I have only two sets to go. So and that's always helped me to get through the high rep session with heavy lifting. Even on a bench press, even if it's two, uh, uh, two, 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 five, two, 25 pounds, I always count that way. The reason why, because if I'm at 15 reps, if I'm, I count up to 15, which means I'm at 30. If I count up to 10, which means I'm at 20. And once I count that way, then, it gives me confidence to just think I'm almost there because I always think I just have one set, which means two reps. So when I did a four today, at four or five, I'm at four. Then I'm like, I need just one more, so which means two more reps. And uh, once I get there, I'm like, I'm done. And then when I did one and one rep left, I'm like, this is, this is it, this is it. I gotta go for it. So I drop down, standing up, perfect, you guys, perfect. So it always count double, doubles, 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 it's always gonna help you to go through a tough workout or a heavy left day, you know? So that always count double, 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 always. And found a language, if you are a person who speaks multiple language, found a language that you feel more comfortable to count and double with, then it will help you. Stay calm and just keep moving. Now, now I'll finish my four or five pounds for 10 reps and I wanna do now a working set of three sets of 10 reps at 315. So I need to, I still need to rest a little bit more. And then after I finish that, I'm gonna do some other accessory work. I might not put them on this video because I have a lot going on today. Uh, I have uh, a CrossFit opening workout 24.1. That's my friend Renata from Montreal uh, challenged me to do, so I'm gonna do it today. And today's the last day, uh, yeah. So stay tuned. Uh, three sets of 10 reps at 315. Um, yeah, that's gonna be the heavy, last heavy three sets that I'm gonna do and then the rest is just gonna be accessory work. So, let's go. What's up, guys? This is all for this video. I'm tired, man. I'm tired. Now I kind of have a little bit of headache because holding breath uh, for quite some time, uh, no oxygen go to my brain. It's easy to get a headache when squatting, bench pressing, then lifting. Some people even get bleeding, but it comes out of their nose. I just get a headache. I need to take a little break before I can continue. 
because like I hold I hold my breath nice and tight most of the time, and that kind of give me sometimes a headache. So all this journey, it's learning in progress. Nobody gonna tell you that uh, my technique is perfect. They don't, they don't no one have a, a perfect technique. It's like a learning in progress. I still have uh, if I like a rush or I, I panic or I I I just afraid of what I'm doing a little bit can cause something like. Can it cause my breathing technique to when I'm panic? And maybe I'm not gonna focus a lot on it. how I breathe, how how my body responding into the lifting. So sometimes you can get to that point. So it's, it's a learning in progress. And uh, yeah, we always learn from doing what we are doing. Um, the last set, I literally didn't focus so much on, uh, on my breathing. Uh, I focus on finishing and that's causing me a headache. So, do not panic and do not rush. I think I rush, so when I rush, I, I, I didn't focus on what I'm doing, and that's how I'm ending up having a headache. Anyway, we're gonna finish, and I'm gonna keep going, guys. I still have one hour of training. All right, guys, that's all for all this video. Uh, I just focus on the squats on this video. Um, yeah, coming back again. Of course, I need to take lower, uh, care of my lower body. Yeah. yeah, especially my legs. My legs have been getting skinny. You know what I'm saying? Thanks for watching, guys. See you in another one.